What's going on, Slot Car family? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. This is MP Slot Car, I'm Massimo, and today, as a thumbnail is telling you, we're gonna do some painting. So today, we're finally gonna paint that missing shoulder. The shoulder that belongs up there that I got from Shane when I went to go visit his track a few videos ago. We're finally gonna paint it to match the rest of the layout along with the new control unit that goes with the Omni slot box. So first things first, we have to prep these for paint and tape off the rails and a couple of things here. So let's do that, then we'll head outside and start painting. So all I do to prep my piece for paint here is I take a scotch Bright pad and I scuff up the surface. So some pieces I actually use sandpaper and some I used nothing at all. That's because the Rust-Oleum primer I'm using, which I'll get into later in the video when we actually go out there to paint, it covers very, very well. And I want to try different prep methods just to see the variation in my results and they all pretty much yielded the same results. So it all depends on how much you wanna go deep in prepping it. I know some people say it's good to sand the track, so I tried just to scuff up the surface a little bit for the paint and everything to kind of grab a little bit better. But I found in a lot of the track, I didn't really have to go crazy. So I used a scotch Bright pad just to kind of scuff the surface just a little bit to get it ready for a paint. And after that's done, so I already sanded this down a little bit with this uh, pad prior to start, starting to film. So we'll get into the next part, which is sterilizing the track and getting it ready for paint. And I use ibuprofen alcohol on a microfiber towel. And I just wipe down the surface, get it ready to paint, get any contaminants, dust, basically everything off the surface, ready to accept the primer and paint. So this piece is pretty much, it's ready to go. Now we're gonna get into the control unit and start taping up the rails and everything that I don't want painted on it. So let's do that now, and then we'll head outside and start painting these pieces. So I use some green painter's tape here. I run it along my rail. I try to hit the seam here, like the edge of one of the rails, as close as you can get. So just like that. So this rail here on the edge is covered. You can run your nail or something along it. So it tucks right in. There's a little bit of a seam there, a little bit of a, I guess a lip that you can kind of shove the paint. It's a groove, yes, that's the word I was looking for, a groove. So you can put it, shove it right in there. You can see the line it's making. There's a little bit of access there. So you're gonna run your blade over that after. And for this side, once you press it down, you can see that line there which makes it easy. Since there's a groove there, it's very easy to just cut it. You get a nice exacto knife here, find the edge. Once you're in the groove, you can run the blade very nicely right across, make a nice cut, and this will peel right off, just like so. Nice and easy. And on this side as well, where there's access, just run your blade right across that, nice and gently. You don't have to go too crazy. And all this will just come right off like that. So this rail is pretty much ready for paint. I like to wrap some tape around the connection points here just to be safe. So that's why I leave a little bit extra when I cut it. So I could just wrap those pins or uh, connection points. So next I'm going to do this rail, the start finish straight. I'll cover that and we'll tackle these. So here we are, we're back and everything is masked off and ready for paint. So I decided to paint this section as well and I decided to keep the Carrera logos here. One thing I want to mention is if you're painting your start finish straight and you want to keep your start finish line here, when running your tape across the rails, make sure to cut seams into these grooves because you don't want uh, the tape to run over the rails and lift as you're painting because the rails are higher than the track, you don't want to lift and paint to bleed through. So make sure to cut seams in there so you can stick it down nice and tight to the track so you get no paint bleed, because then that just, that won't be a good time. Uh, other than that, the track is pretty much ready to go. I'm going to wipe it down with some ibuprofen alcohol. We'll head outside and start the paint process. Alrighty, so here we are in the garage. And I want to start off by showing you the process of the paint method that I'm using. So I start off with the Rust-Oleum 2x primer, and as you see here, bonds to plastic. 
This stuff covers very, very well. This is what I was using on my track even before starting this more grippy and more realistic look that I'm going for now. If you look back on the channel when I started painting that track, this is all I was using. I was just spraying the track with this and weathering it with some black acrylic paint to give it that tire mark wear effect. So this gives you a nice painted surface, but it doesn't add grip. The track level, the track grip level pretty much stayed the same as stock. So when I wanted to do that, I started talking to Boone what I can do and he said, keep this as your base, it's fine. And you can add grip by using some Kralon flat paint here. So this is some Kralon uh, paint and primer, it's mixed. Turn out of weight, so that's why it was French. So paint and primer, they're both matte. I got a black and a white. And what you do is you literally want an overspray on your pieces. So what an overspray is, it's exactly what it sounds like. So you're spraying your piece. When I'm using the primer, I'm spraying directly on the piece that I'm painting. When you want an overspray, the piece is here and you're kind of aiming it away from the track. So I'm spraying like this and having the spray kind of just fall on top of the surface, giving it that overspray look. So it kind of looks like that, you know, pavement finish where it's all the different patterns in the actual concrete or uh, tarmac, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to go through that now. The track has been prepped, ready to go. So we're going to start with the primer. And I'm going to show you this stuff covers very well. Two coats, max, and you're done. So let's get into that right now. So it goes without saying, but safety first. Use a respirator or a mask when using these paints. You don't want to inhale this stuff and also gloves if you want, but a mask is highly recommended, respirator, whatever you have, you don't want to be inhaling these fumes. So I'm going to get this mask on and we're going to get painting. So it's been about 20 minutes and the two coats of primer are down. Let's take a look at the results. And I'm fine with this. As you can see, after two coats, the coverage is pretty good. You'll still make out this candy cane strip here. You do on the rest of my track as well, but once it's weathered, you barely tell that that's there. Now, if you did want to get rid of this because it's more of a glossy finish, you will have to sand it down a bit more or use some kind of a paint thinner or something just to kind of get rid of that. I'm fine with it because again, once I'm weathering the track, you'll barely tell it's there. It's the same case for the straights and the corners. You'll see the line dividers on the track as well a bit, kind of like this, more of a glossy finish. But once the track is weathered, you barely notice it at all. So I'm fine with it, but you can get rid of it if you wanted to. So now that that's done, I'm going to give it some more time to cure. And then we'll head back and hit it with the Kralon black and white overspray method to give it that more realistic look and added grip. So let's give it some more time and I will catch you all in a little bit. Okay, we're gonna start with the black. And what you wanna do is, you're aiming it away. So I'm not spraying directly on it. I'm doing more of a spray, as you can see, it's a light dusting. So let's do that. All right, so the black is down and you can already start to see the pattern there. It's already looking pretty cool. So we're gonna add the white on now and then we'll make some adjustments as we need. It went a little bit too heavy here with the black, but we can cover that up, no big deal. So let's add the white and see what we get. So 
So as those two pieces are outside drying, uh, I added one more pass of each, the black and the white over them. And I think it looks pretty good so far. So we'll go check on those in a bit. Let me go through the paints again that I use. So I start off with the Rust-Oleum two times ultra cover gray primer. It's a matte finish and bonds to plastic. As you can see, covers very, very well as you saw in the video. And the overspray method, which I hope is clear that you're shooting kind of above the surface and letting it just dust onto the track surface. I'm using a Craylon, Color Max, Paint and Primer, Flat Black, and a Color Max Paint and Primer, Flat White. We're gonna give it a few minutes outside to dry and then we'll go out there and check what we got. Alrighty, so we're back in the basement. As you can tell, some time has passed, the pieces have cured, and now comes the most satisfying part of this whole process, and that's to peel back the painter's tape and hope that there's no bleeds. Let's go peel it. Peeling back this painter's tape. Oh yeah, that's just so satisfying. So slot car family here it is fully painted not weathered yet and the reason being is because I like to install all my pieces on the track first and then weather it with the uh, tire markings just because if the piece before or after let's say has a skid mark coming this way or that way whatever the case is I want to be able to match it up with this piece and not have something totally different going on here that doesn't match the rest of the track so we'll tackle that in the next video once I yank out the other control unit and install this one but yeah very happy with this paint method the way it's been going let me know in the comments below what you think is this something you would like to try I think it's worth it if you're looking to paint it. it looks cool and it does add a little bit of grip as I said so there you have it guys all done for the day so one, one thing left to do here now it's done so there you have it slot car family that is the paint method that i've been using to paint my track and i hope you enjoyed seeing it let me know in the comments below if this is something you'll try on your track if you're thinking about painting it i mean i like the results i think it looks cool and it does add a little bit of grip now comes the fun part yanking out that control unit which is going to be fun because i got to remove a bunch of the straightaway parts and the pit lane to get that out but yeah that's one of the worst parts but in terms of the paint method um, I mean you saw it's pretty simple prep is where most of the work is you know making sure everything is taped off nice but the actual painting parts easy I do a light coat of the primer first a heavier coat of the primer second and any touch-ups if you might need afterwards you can even go three coats if you really want you know it's all up to you the more coats you do the more coverage you get but I'm happy with two coats and then the overspray method a couple times of that and this is what you get I think it looks pretty neat so that's gonna wrap up this video here and I hope it was informative for anyone out there that was thinking about painting their layout if you like this video please hit that like button it really helps out the channel and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already this has been MP slot car I'm Massimo keep your guide in the slot and I will catch you all in the next one take care ciao